Hey, good morning. You said, I don't mean this in a harmful way at all, but I feel like just because something has a racist root does not mean that the one thing is racist. Well, young man, in a conversation about facts and truth, your opinions and feelings are feckless. They have no merit because we are talking about what is and what isn't, not about what you feel, think, or believe, okay? Because your feelings, your thoughts, and your beliefs, and a dollar twenty-five will get you a soda from the soda machine. That's how valuable your thoughts, opinions, and feelings are in a conversation about facts. So come here real quick. Let's have a conversation. In gardening, there's a thing called grafting, where you take a part of a plant and you graft it onto the rootstock or another part of another plant. Now this happens a lot with plants that are susceptible to diseases. What they do is they take a part of the plant that maybe is producing fruit, and it has great fruit on it, but it's susceptible to disease, and they graft it onto the rootstock of another plant that is immune to those diseases. That rootstock then prevents the entire plant from getting sick. It keeps it healthy, while the top of the plant still continues to produce the juicy, sweet fruit that you so desire. This is the purpose of a rootstock, because whatever is grafted onto the rootstock will either share in its immunities or its susceptibility. And Western civilization as we know it has been grafted onto the rootstock of racism. You see, when racism is built into the institution, it emerges as the collective action of its entire population. That means anything growing on the rootstock of racism is itself inherently racist. That means capitalism is inherently racist. How did these wealthy nations build their wealth? They built it through slave labor on stolen lands of the people they committed genocide against so they could steal their land. That goes for any ism, racism, sexism, ableism. If an ism is built into the institution, it emerges as the collective action of its entire population. If your rootstock is an ism, then the entire tree produces that ism. You see what I'm saying? So how do you rid an institution of its isms? You pull it up by the root. Here are weeds growing in my garden. If I want them gone, I have to do more than pull it up by the grass because it doesn't do anything. The root's still in the ground, so the problem still persists. If I want to get rid of the weed, I have to pull it up by its roots because if I don't, the problem will persist. You have to get rid of the root if you want to get rid of the problem. In short, anything rooted in racism is inherently racist.